Imagine a world where networks allow us to improve our understanding of our environment. At EPFL, Professor Vandergeinst is building digital models to help visualize data networks. A startup created by some of his former students has modeled the movements of individuals at the Lausanne train station. But many other applications of this technology are possible. Dans ce magnifique être pleureur, in the magnificent weeping willow that surrounds us, we can go from one leaf to another, following the intricate network of branches that makes up the tree. A tree is a good example of a mathematical structure that we call a graph that allows us to model all kinds of networks. It can represent social networks like Facebook, the leaves would be the users connected to each other. It can also represent a transport network like towns connected by highways or stations connected by railways. But it could also represent the neural networks we are trying to discover in our brain using medical imaging technology. One of the greatest technical challenges facing us today is to try to organize the vast quantities of digital data we are gathering in order to discover this information in an efficient way. In terms of vast quantities, the brain is colossal with its billions of neural pathways. In our lab, we are interested in modeling the brain in a different way to the standard practice. We want to change the point of view, change perspective, in order to detect other kinds of information. Here is a standard image of the brain. We're going to separate the brain into different regions with their names, here. The problem is that there are regions that are difficult to see, so we have to have a large number of viewpoints. What we are interested in are the connections between these regions, the communication between the regions that you can't see in this model. So, we have to create a different model, which is the brain as a network. I'd like to have more information on this area, right in the middle. Pull it out, bring it into the open, and look at its connections. Another application is putting together playlists. We have developed a program that allows to make a recommendation of music using the theory of networks. What we're trying to do is to create links between songs in order to make recommendations, to create a playlist that will be pleasing to the ear. One of the algorithms used in the program allows you to separate songs by their dominant group. You could compare this to a GPS which tries to optimize your journey by changing the places you will go through. Freed from the constraints of physical form, graphical representation offers us a whole world of exploration. From urban studies to cerebral networks and music, networks are powerful tools that we can put to use in a multitude of applications.